Hello, everyone. Welcome back to part... This is part 17. Part 17 of Ocarina... Part... It's part 17 of Ocarina of Time. Welcome to the spooky, scary the sp dungeon. The spooky, scary... Skeleton dungeon. Oh. I've been this way. Yes, that is where he started. Oh, here we go. Yes. You use the lens of truth to reveal the path ahead of you. One who gains the eye of truth will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. Is that Thank he, you! Is that what he sounds like? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Shattered Apple, here has gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Something like that. <laughs> I don't have my ocarina. It's, you don't just kill him. You don't have to play. You don't have to sing him a tune. Just strike him down with reckless abandon. His life is forfeit. <laughs> he does not deserve to live. Okay. <laughs> oh, just got headbutted by a bat. You're doing it? There you go. Oh, I need to put my lens away. Mm, looks like you're trapped in this room forever. What will you do? You have no escape. way of escape. Oh, they let you out? Why? Let's play's over. <laughs> so Matt, how was your week? You know you know what? I was just about to ask you that. Really? Yeah. We're I like, got a man. We're like in sync or something. It's like we're we're friends. Are our cy are our cycles lined up? Don't start. <laughs> Bro, I got to tell you, my cycle is so in sync with yours. Shadow Temple, here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Uh, my week's been good been busy it's hidden in the darkness tricks of full tricks full of ill will you can't say any yes i can wait is there more in this room that i need to look at i don't know explore with your special eyes we've read that three times nope that's where you came from that's where you came from oh, did i circle back around yes you did so it was this one that oh There you go. Whoa! Ah, <laughs> flying pots. <coughs> Gotta have the max money. That's a dead end. You don't have the big, big rupee wallet yet, do you? No, we're... 11 away. Yeah. Oh, it's down here. Ho, ho, ho. What is this? Not this guy again! Mm, look at me, it's a dead hand! I'm just gonna gnaw your face off a little bit. Don't mind my big gross disgusting white hands. I need to trim my nails. What is that? Oh, you killed one of the hands. I'ma just, I'ma just shimmy my way over to you real, real quick, right? I'm just gonna bend down, give you a little kiss, give you a little, give you a little kiss. Oh, I hold still, you little bugger! I just gonna give you a little kiss. You, uh, oh yeah, you gotta. You gotta bait him, brah. I just wanted to give a kiss! 
What are you fighting for? <laughs> Oh, what is it? What is it? It's a thing! It's Grandma's apple pie. It's the Hoover boots! The Hoover boots. Well, these mysterious boots, how... You, uh, with these mysterious boots, you can hover above the ground. The downside, no traction. Oh, yeah, these are the slippy, slidey boots. Cat. Cat, what are you doing? You can, <laughs> you can even use those, these to walk for short periods where there is no solid ground. Be brave and trust in the boots. Trust in the boots. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go back behind that treasure chest. Er, yeah. Put, turn on the, uh, the lens. The El Lenzo and look around. I think it's in the corner, actually. I think it's in this room. Maybe. Hold on. I swear there's another treasure chest in this room. Is there not? Am I going crazy? Yeah, you've officially went crazy. Hmm. All right. Never mind. Oh, maybe it's... No, never mind. It's actually the bottom of the well. The room where you fight him has, has a second treasure chest in it. One who gains the eye of truth will be able to see what's hidden in the darkness. Oh, the one who gains the eye of truth. Wait, didn't I just... Yep. You're lost. No, I'm not lost. You're lost. We're lost in the darkness. We're so lost in the darkness. Mm hmm. Definitely lost. Fly, now listen here. Flying pots. Yeah, you're. All right, Matt. Where do I go? I'm not telling you. Figure it out. I've already went that way. You got an L map, oh. Say map. Map. Say compass. Too bad you don't have oh. a compass. <laughs> so that's the way that I came. Yes. Make sure. Hmm. hmm. That's the other way that I came. Hmm. Is it not? Hmm. Is that the way that I came into this room? Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> To see what happens. I don't know. This is lost in the darkness. <laughs> bark! That's a bark. <laughs> I gotta mark it up as a bark. 19. Yeah, I've already been in this room. 19 bonkaroos. <laughs> Alright, but you got the boots now. Make my face. Make my beak face something of truth. And. Righteousness, something. Push, push. I get this puzzle. Push. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think happens if you get it wrong? Uh, I'm gonna fall. The floor drops out from below you, and you fall. <laughs> oh, you went I went too went far. Too far. Oh. You, I, you. I'm stuck. I had it right. <laughs> I just didn't let go fast enough. 
It's now it's this one. Yep. As soon as you pass pushing this this one, stop right here. All right, you just let go. Let go of everything. There you go. Time to play the game again. Play the game. Oh, the pausing game. Yeah. It's not as egregious as the water temple. So, you'll be fine. But how's your week? How's your October? How's your spooktober going? It's going good. Yeah? You excited to play some Phasmophobia or whatever? I was going to ask what you thought of that game. It's fun. Although... I'm excited what they to see what they do with it in the future, because uh, it's still early access. Um, yeah. We played like five or six games last night, and I only saw the ghost once. <laughs> Although, How scared did you get? Not that scared. Although. Oh, did you see that? I got froze mid quick slash or yeah. spin slash. Although I don't like to be left alone. That's that's scary, and it like. <laughs> yelled in my ear uh, the ghost did once and that freaked me out <laughs> i'm playing the song but don't that just fine see look dead it's jump slashing oh it only takes one jump slash yeah as long as you double hit him oh well no but my week's been good it was a long week at work and then i had church today so I got the compass! Yes, you do. Okay, I gotta take these boots off. <laughs> Just like, like, slowly having to gain speed. It was too much. Oh, do I need the boots in here? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> You're just taking it. Off I've with his furries. head. I've got furries, it's fine. You can just, if you shield, you'll crouch down low enough to where they can't hit you. Now I gotta figure out how to get up there. Oh, long shot. The longest shot. Oh, oh that no, where's no, twenty bongs. Confetti and fireworks and everything. <laughs> I, I know it was over here. There's a chest in here. Yeah, maybe you should turn the eye of truth on. The lens of truth. And see what hidden thingies lie ahead of you. You got a key. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly realized after I started the using the hookshot that I needed to move. Okay. I mean, I think you're done in here. Yeah, I need to go over there. See what that's about. Oh, that's a floor. Yep. <laughs> Am I in the right place, though? No. You Did actually, scratch? You what? actually can't do anything here yet. There's a scratch you do somewhere. Yeah, it's above you. You can't get it yet, though. So. You mean it's a, oh, it's in it's out there. Yeah, yeah. Outside the prison. Is it? Never mind. What? I had a question. The, the ask I, it. 
I, I remember seeing somebody playing a randomizer. No! Oh. This wall, it's saying something. It says, if you want to see a fairy... Yep, never mind. That's the question I was going to ask, and it answered it for me. Well, what's your question? If this is the dungeon with the creepy boat. Oh, yes, it is. All right. But this is a good dungeon, though. Eh, it's not bad so far. It's not bad so far. It's not bad so far. There's nothing that way, so I'm done in this room. Are can you? I kill? Can I kill Bemos? Yeah, with bombs. I just tried that. Well, if you hit it directly, it'll blow up. But if you hit it indirectly, it'll just stun it. Now hit it again. There you go. Hmm, so... Wait, Navi was saying something to me. Uh, play the Song of Storms. Uh, I that one. Let me look. Hold on. A down up, A down up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Always like a speedrunner. You just spawned a giant fairy. Oh, I need to catch it. I You're don't need to catch it. Full. You need health, really. There you go. And now I'm done in this room. No, well you can't go back. You got to keep going forward. This this dungeon is full of trickery and secrets. You must uh, find the truth, or look at your dang map. Looking at the map's no fun. Good job, you respawned the Bemos. Ah, uh, the Bemos! Oh. Hucking. Hucking the bombs. Get that bomb drop. There you go. Look at that! You found it! This dungeon's pretty straightforward. It's basically like... Find a key, unlock a door, progress for a while. Find a key, unlock a door, progress for a while. It's not like the, uh... The water temple where you gotta, like, stack up on three keys... Before you can really get anywhere. Yeah. But it's spoopy. Are you doing anything super spoopy for Hollow Spoopy Spooktober? I'm taking my kid trick or treating. That's scary. If they, if they have it this year. What is what is he gonna dress up as? I don't know yet. What he is... hasn't. What am I gonna dress up as? Yeah. You? <laughs> what? No. That's scary. <laughs> they won't All give right. you candy. <laughs> what, you scared? It works like I wanted to. Well, I got by that skeleton spider. Oh, you almost got your head taken clean off. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Aww. That, that... Esper is on my lap and she's giving herself a bath. Grody. Grody? Say hi. Hi, Esper. I don't like this. You could do it. Esper, say hi. You quit licking yourself for two seconds. No? Okay. Yeah, is that, good? Is that good hair? A tasty hair? All right, we'll check back in later with, with the kitty. Yeah. 
Corey is getting his his fleshy booty handed to him by a skeleton booty. Whoa, he's going and climbing. He's a hopping. He's a hippity hoppity. You really haven't figured out how to fight these things yet, have you? Yeah. Jump in their hitboxes. <laughs> Oh, how do I do this? Ah, uh, I see. Oh, how do I do this? Oh, we missed it. Yep. Yeah, you give that spooter what for. Oh, hearts. Oh, I forgot about that one. Uh-huh, I, I could tell. No, Esper. Don't nap. Oh, okay. Bye. She's so rambunctious. All right. Don't fall off this time. So, there you go. You should probably keep those on, actually. Because you're going to need to float over to the next... Uh, okay, cool. So what's new? What's popping? Uh, I didn't want to fall, so I was extremely focused. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing really. Nothing really. Wow, I'm glad you're super interested today. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just don't want to die. Oh, no. you suck. I did it! You did it. I don't like this. Let's see what this post has to say. Only one with the Isle of Truth will find the stone umbrella that protects against the rain of blades. Oh, look at that. You figured it out. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite spooky things in the world? What do you mean? I don't know. What's your favorite? What's your favorite spooky game? Uh, that's a good question. That's, cool. that's a real. That's a good question. Yeah. Well, then let's discuss. Let's have uh, ourselves a little discussion about spooky. I would say my favorite, like, does it have to be a straight horror game or, like, any kind of spooky game? Yeah, whatever. I think my favorite sp spooky game is probably Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Boops at Doopies. He likes the Five Nights. Oh, I, 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 I sense tragedy about to happen. <laughs> I saw that coming. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, you like Clock Tower? I do like the Clock Tower games. I do need to play those again at some point. In the future. I can't jump up this. No, you cannot. You are too short. You are tiny, little man. And it is big block. If the Clock Tower, I like Resident Evil Silent Hill. Yeah, yeah. I think you should play the Silent Hill games. Dude, probably. <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave that there for now. Parasite Eve. 
I do like Parasite Eve. I almost cussed. You got this. Parasite Eve 1 is probably the scariest out of the bunch. Uh, Resident Evil 2 3 Remake. Oh, those are so good. Resident Evil 4 is not that scary. No, it's not scary. I didn't, well, I don't... Eh, two, 2 is scary. Resident Evil 2 Remake is scarier than Resident Evil 3 Remake. For sure. Like... The, the concept and... look and feel and actions of just like the normal zombie enemies don't really do much for me unless they like pop out of nowhere and it's very unexpected or I'm about to die or something but the concept of Mr. X just hunting you relentlessly I hate Mr. X that's that's what gets me look Matt I figured it out I'm so proud um, yeah, I don't really, the only parts in four that I remember really being kind of scary are the regenerators. The regenerators, the, the shrap, weren't they like shrapnel regenerators or something? I don't know, they go, <laughs> that's what they sound like. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, do I pull this back more? Yep, you gotta climb it. Um, I didn't really find Nemesis that scary, like at all, just because he's so predictable, and it's very scripted. So it's like yeah. kind of if you have like any gamer sense at all, <laughs> you kind of know how it's gonna go. Well, how do I get over there? Well, you got you got those umbrella thingies. Or no, yeah, whatever. Um, I don't know. I used to play. Okay, I used to not be a fan of scary games, and then I became a fan of scary games, and now I don't really play scary games that much anymore because I'm a big baby. <laughs> but I mean, like. I mean, like, so truly... how bad was phasmophobia for you? It wasn't that bad. Um, I found a key. Like, oh, I gotta find probably out like goes. the first like scary game I ever played was probably Fear. Fear one. I have, I have Fear three. Fear for three hour. <laughs> and I haven't played it. You gave, I think you gave me a copy of it. Probably. And I still haven't played it yet. Fear 3 is not scary. It's more of an action game than anything. Uh, Have you ever played Fear 1? No. Fear 1 is actually scary. And the combat in it is so much more, like, threatening. I died. Intentional death! Yeah, right. It dunked on Bemos. Also, Fear 2 is actually pretty scary as well. Um, really? But Fear 3 is not that great. Uh, Silent Hill 4 just got a new PC release. Oh. On GOG. GOG? So I might have to... Per Wait. I don't go here yet, do I? Uh, do you? Where else can you go? Well, that's going to kill me. Uh, is it? Oh. <laughs> I forgot. You forgot the for you forgot the theme of this dungeon. All shall be revealed with the eye. But no, my my favorite horror game, without a shadow of a doubt, and by far is Amnesia. Which one? The first one. Oh, how do you? Oh, you the go dark around. the dark descent. Actually, you can hover over those. There's a reed. Oh, 
So I'm looking forward to the new Amnesia, which when this video releases will have came out yesterday. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I'm looking I still forward need to play one and two. You've never played them? I have them. I've I've played one. I've never played two. Two is okay. It's skippable. But have you actually? I mean, have you actually played through all of one? Yeah. Like I got bored one night at work and played it. Um, uh, I'm so confused. The lens of truth will tell me the way. So you're telling me you got bored at work and you just decided, oh, I'm gonna play Amnesia and beat the whole game. Oh, it took me a couple days to beat it. Oh, okay. It took me a couple shifts. Okay, well that's over there. Well, you can't stand on them forever. You can hover over them, but you can't stand on them. What in the Hades creation am I supposed to do? I don't know. Look around. I've looked all the way around. You haven't. Shut up. <laughs> Did you ever finish or play Soma? I have it installed. I just haven't played it. Um, it's okay. It's a little spoopy. Not super spoopy. It's the underwater thing that gets me. The underwater thing. Like how Soma's in like a submarine, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's an under, un, an underwater type of facility. Yeah, I'm not. Uh... You should play it then. <laughs> so I take it you're not a fan of Bioshock either. <laughs> oh, I like Bioshock. Bioshock's not scary. Really? Because it yeah. has some some spoopy moments. It didn't scare me at all. What about that part, uh, I don't remember where, whatever, but you, like, go down a hallway, and then there's, like, kind of like a dead end, and then there's a guy that, like, whispers in your ear, and you turn around, and there's a, a dude, like, right in your face. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That jumped me a little bit. <laughs> it jumped me. By George, that part gave me a jump. Bluey. Key. So I played. Um, so like an example of of old me playing horror games and like current me playing horror games. Like the first time I played Outlast. Um, oh, that's, oh yeah. I I started the game at like midnight and I ended up playing it until 5 a.m. and I beat the entire game in one sitting. I, I did the same when I played it on X. Where are you Box. going? Where are you going? I'm going the wrong way. Yes, you are. Uh, no, I ended up playing it in one sitting. It took me like eight hours. Oh yeah, I need to figure out how to get up there. I mean, I know how to get up there, but... Um... And I, it was a good game. I, I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't enjoy the whistleblower DLC as much. No. It was alright. It was fine, I guess. I don't remember much from it. Oh, uh, I the one that got that. That the lens of truth. I Sorry. Did. I had to sneeze. I muted myself. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I tried to play Outlast 2. And... I didn't make it. I didn't make it very far. <laughs> I made it to the church and got lost and gave up. The church? You didn't make it as far as I did then. Probably not. I was still in like the farm. What the heck? Dude, use the lens of truth and look around and quit being a big babby. 
Yeah, I played it for 1.3 hours. <laughs> and I'm like... I have like, it on PC, but I haven't played it on PC. I'm like, my anxiety is too great. I can't handle this right now. <laughs> and I never went back. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking around. Oh. <laughs> I like the... I can't figure out where to go! And then... Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, I just hit buttons. Hit buttons? Is everything okay? Yeah, you're, yeah, everything's fine. You also bonked, so that's uh, 21. Your bonk, your bonk count is now legal. I believe at the end of this episode, we at the end of the final episode, we should just put up stats. Total game time. I don't even know. Well, I guess I could count up how long the videos are, but. Total game time. Oop. X number of bonks. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you don't want that thing to blow you. <laughs> Get you. Oh. Oh, saved. Saved it. He's got blown away. No, it's actually an eyeball spitting fire at you. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. You can just just run away no! from it. <laughs> you blocked him. <laughs> you're like, you're not gonna latch on to me, Mr. Redhead. Me too. Um. <laughs> What else? Here, I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Those who have sacred feet should let the wind guide them. They'll be led to a hidden path. Oh! I get it. You get it? I got it! You know what? I actually kind of liked, even though it was also kind of bad. <laughs> Um, did you ever play, like, the full, like, S Slender Man game? Not the, not the one you had me play at the Zelda Marathon. I've only played it that one time. I would like to play it, play it. Um. I'll have to see if it's ever, I'll have to put it on my wish list and wait for it to go on sale, but. Yeah, it's, I'm sure it'll probably go on sale when it's, like, Closer to Halloween, and they do a spooky sale. Maybe that'll be a a good. It's already it's game. already on sale. It's it's literally two dollars and forty nine cents right now. <laughs> I will pre I will purchase it after this episode. And yeah. one night you you can sit with me on the discords and play it with me. Oh, play that would me. that would be fun. I would like that, actually. Because it's like... Everybody it, says it's dumb, but it's like... It, it like literally interests me. Dude, it, it's kind of dumb, but it's still a good game. Like It can't be as dumb as the Slender Man. I don't have a key. There's a chest in this room, according to your El Campo. Yeah, and I'm standing in front of it. No. It would disappear if you opened it. But yeah, no, Slender the Arrival is like, it's like dumb, but it's like effective. <laughs> Have you seen the Slender Man 2018 movie? No, I haven't. 
You need to watch it. Is it bad? It's no, it's actually as much as I hate to say this, it's really good. Yeah. Like I went to I went to the movies and saw it. And I I, I was legit scared. See, I don't like scary movies actually. I don't feel like I don't like not having control over what I'm viewing <laughs> or no, interacting no, I mean, with. Okay, but like you don't buy into like the creepy pastas and the memes and everything that make it scary. Yeah. So you'll be fine with the movie. I, heck, I'll watch the movie with you. <laughs> we could have a Discord movie party. Yeah. And watch it together. Um. Would that make you feel more comfortable? Maybe. All right, I gotta find a scratchy scratcher. And I bet I'll need my old friend. But no, it's like... It's oh, a, he's all the way up there. If you get on the boat, but don't activate the boat, you'll be able to reach it. Well, how do I get on the boat, but don't activate the boat? It just don't activate it. Is there a button on there? Well, you'll figure it out. Ah, oh, yeah, you gotta play the Zelda's lullaby. Yeah. And I guess I go up here. Nope. But yeah, like the concept of like finding the eight pages or just the eight items in general in like a confusing but like open environment where something is chasing you, where it has effective sound effects and like visual effects. I don't know. It, it's very like rudimentary, but very effective at the same time because it, it always has you on edge. And it's one of those types of things where it's like, it's not scripted at all. Whoa. <laughs> you know, like when you're fighting Nemesis, it's totally scripted and like there's an end to yeah. that. There's an end to that fight. But when you're running around the forest trying to hide from Slenderman, part of the dread comes from the fact that you know you've made solid progress and then if he catches you, you have to start all over again. <laughs> I have seen a speed run of the game, but I feel like that doesn't do the game justice at all. Yeah. Oh, hi, friend. Hello, friend. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't like this. Boat physics. But yeah, like, to me, playing scary games... 50% of the dread comes from dying and losing progress, and the other 50% yeah. of it comes from the jump scares. And oh, trying to anticipate the jump scares. I have a question. What's up? Do you trust autosave at all? Or do you like, do you like, are you one of them people that like, oh, my game autosaved, I'm fine? Uh, you need to jump off. I read that. Uh, I always manual save if I am able to. Yeah, I'm the same way. So no, I don't. I was I was talking to someone about this the other day, and they're like, "Oh yeah, auto saves are great. You can just like get to a point, and you don't even have to remember to manually save." And I'm like, "Do you realize how many auto saves I've lost in life?" <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't. I always manual save. I always probably double or triple manual save. Oh, there's invisible walls. Uh huh. How do you reveal the truth? There you go. It's like we're learning or something. Uh oh. The grabby. Get the last one. Yeah, get him. Yeah. Murder. So, does your quick spin not come out when the Lens of Truth is on? No, because you're using magic. Oh. So, you can't, like, double use your magic. 
Nice! Triple kill! That was uh, let's, go to, let's go to this door and see what happens. That's... I know, right? Like, what in the world? <laughs> you got this, this medieval torture device with blood all over the floor and you're rated E for everyone Zelda game. <laughs> But hey, you know. Am I allowed to say that's kinky? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, and... you just did, so oh, well, I guess it's know. out there. I know where that key goes. I just got to figure out how to get over there. I don't need errors. Are you sure you beat Amnesia? Yeah. Why? And you weren't spooped? Or were you spooped? Oh, I was spooped. Do you remember towards the end of the game where you have to go through all the different torture chambers? Yeah. Yeah. And then I saw the guy's thingy and I was like, oh, well, you know, a mature rated game. <laughs> you know what part I'm talking about. Yeah. Daniel? Is that you? What are you doing, Daniel? Oh man! Did you save Agrippa? I don't what, remember. What ending did you get? Uh, I think just the basic play the game through ending. The one like where an you the, the one, one like the any, I guess you call it the any percent ending. The one where you just leave the castle and. Yeah, I didn't do anything special. Gotcha. I did learn how to clip out of bounds though, so that probably didn't help. Did you do that in your first playthrough? I may or may not have. Oh my gosh. You are such a terrible person. <laughs> Oops. How much of the game did you skip? I don't know. No, my, no wonder you don't have any, like, strong feelings towards it. If you just skip the whole dang game. It's Alex's fault. He taught me how to clip out of bounds. What are you talking about? You know, we were doing a spooky marathon one time. And it was when I was remotely streaming, and I suck at this. A little bit. There's a scritchy to do there. Oh, and then Alex was like, oh, I'm just going to put this chair here, and then I'm going to mash space bar, and then I'm going to go out of bounds. And I'm like, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I remember that. So it's Alex's fault. I, that blew up in there. Why, why didn't it blow up? It didn't go in, it bounced off. No, it didn't. It wants to go in! No, I'm gonna use my bombs. They're, they fly better. You don't actually have to be in here. This is just like a bonus room. Oh. Well, hold but on, I gotta, get the, I gotta get the scritchy to do that. And the, the reward is just money, which you're full on, so... I do want to um, play a machine for pigs, even though everybody says it's skippable. I like the title of the game. I, I still, I like the game. I still found it to be um, s scary and I like the story and I like the environments. But you'll never stream it because you're too busy with Disney anime nonsense. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to do. It's, it's closing in on you. What are you going to do? You're going to die. I don't know what to do! You're gonna die! I'm gonna run out. Alright, let's think about this. What is it made of? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see where you're going with this. Let's see where you're going with this. Yay, you did it. That took uh ten year old me a long time to figure out. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
I got a key! Um, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Amnesia. Yeah, spoopy games. Um, I'm very disappointed in you for not playing Amnesia legitimately. <laughs> I, it's Alex's fault. It's, it's no, it's nobody's fault but your own. You didn't put a gun to your head. Um, I think I would like go back and play through it now that I'm like not as into speedrunning as I once was. Well, you should. I would watch you because. It, it, Halloween just quickly approaching. Oh, man, now I'm back in this room. Yep, but you got everything you need. I can't hover boots over there. No. Nope. But you got everything you need. I believe in you. You can figure it out. You can solve this puzzle. You can conquer this riddle. A little high. A little high. A little low. A little high, a little low. I could have done that from the beginning, but I didn't have the key. Correct. <laughs> Just go right through me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what I want to ask you, which probably haven't, have you played the Justine DLC for Amnesia? No, I don't even think I have it. It should be free. <laughs> no, I haven't. I was supposed to play it, but... We, I ended up having to go remote for a marathon. Justine is like... I heard it's scarier than regular amnesia. It is. It's like all of amnesia, like everything that's great about amnesia, like packed into one like neat experience. And the best thing about it is... It has permadeath. <laughs> okay, now I don't want to play. And it. you can't turn it off. If you die, you have to start all over. All right, boss time. But the game only takes like 30 minutes to play through. Did I take my hover boots off for the boss? Uh, you can leave them on. Probably make it easier actually to leave them on. Oh, it's that thing. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Bongo Bongo. Bongo Bongo. Is that his name? Yeah, Bongo Bongo. And I need... I think I remember boom, seeing this boss. Boom, 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 I like when he boom, bounces boom, you up the hover boots kick on. Boom, 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 he looks boom, like a butthole. He looks like a butthole. I don't want to use my fire arrows for this. I think he would take offense to that. Calling him a butthole. For him from uh oh he bongoed you i remember this from uh oh what's all the game other zelda game is he in he's not in any other zelda game i don't think he's in the wind waker uh, well you okay you mean a boss with hands as swirl is bongo bongo no it's not bongo bongo it's the 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 temple guardian or something like that. It's in the Tower of the Gods. Yeah. He's got How do I hit him? With your, with your bow and arrows. Wow. I'm he taking the hover boots off. Bongo, do you? I'm taking the boots off. All right. It's not any easier. Uh huh. Okay. You don't know that, but sure. Try it. Do it. I can't move with them on. Do it, fool. Okay. Take them off. Wait, What? what's he doing? He's wrecking your butthole. That's what he's doing. 
Are you gonna turn the lens of truth on, or are you gonna continue to dink around? Oh, his other hand just went right in front of me. There you go. See? You could do it. Hello. This is literally like the easiest boss to get. <laughs> no, it's not. He is like really underwhelmingly easy. I will admit. Oh, uh, yeah. I can see that. But like, I thought the Dongo was pretty easy too. Alright, for the. Y yeah. <coughs> I mean, Queen Goma is pretty easy, and King Dodongo is pretty easy. Boyfriend, girlfriend. Bongo Bongo is probably third. Roll! Apparently, not casually easy, but if you know what you're doing, you could. Like one cycle of. That should have counted. Really? Right, just take off the boots. Take off the boots. I want to see what happens when you take the boots off. No, because I fly. Okay. I yeah. have my See, that's. I'm... Okay, that's, I that's what I thought. Yeah, you, it's harder with the boots off because he launches you into the air too much. I need arrows. Oh, yeah, you're short on arrows. Just shoot him right in the face. You don't need to shoot his hands, actually. <laughs> Or, well, I guess his eyes closed. Yeah. Does it ever open? Uh, maybe not at this stage of the fight. How do I get more arrows? Uh, he actually will drop arrows just like that. <laughs> Alright, get up. This should be it. If you can. Yeah, yeah, slice him up, slice him and dice him, jump slice, oh, okay. Uh, there's an arrow right there. <laughs> Don't close your eyes. Bunko, 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 bunko. Oh, uh, do you have a fairy? Yeah. Okay. I have three. Well, I think this is it. I think you're done after this one. No, I have one more. I don't think so. You're right. This is... <laughs> you better finish him off. The chat says you're bad at video games, by the way. They're right. Nice. Jump slash. Yeah! You dispelled the darkness. I dispelled the butthole. <laughs> Who's gonna be our Shadow Temple Sage? We we know this already. Oh, it's, uh, what's her, what's his nuts? It's Impa. Yeah. Sheik literally tells you. Uh, it's been a week! Remember? It's been a week! We're like... He's like... Impa is the sage of the Shadow Temple. And we're like, wow, spoilers. <laughs> you got a heart tater. Alright, let's go talk to Impa. This is kind of a long episode, but... You beat the whole dungeon in one episode. I did. Yeah, you did. Who is Impa? Who is Impa? Princess Zelda's guardian. Now, who, who, who's voicing Impa? The uh... oh, I am. Yeah, do it. 
The boy. No, it's a redneck. That there boy with nobles out is Ocarina. As ex I have expected, uh, as I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker. I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. The Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of the Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, I am out of dip. <laughs> On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked Hyrule Castle and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the sacred rail. The hidden treasure of the family, the Ocarina of Time. Cause, get it? Because it's an oak tree and I hunt out of those. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. Ganondorf. <laughs> when I last saw you, when last I saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a wee lad. Now I see you become a fine young hero who wears tights, which I frown upon, but, uh, well, that's that's who, how it is. <laughs> the princess, there's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. With my gun. Soon you will face, you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. She's in my truck. She's in my truck. That is when we, the six wise ones, seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. You only got one more left. Don't stop now. I have to stay here. You go and protect Zelda. You go You go to Princess Zelda, Zelda's side, and protect her on my behalf. They, Man, they gave me a script, but I can't read it. Man, they didn't teach me how to read in Chica school. <laughs> <laughs> Now I put my power, which should help be helpful to you, into this medallion. Yay! Got five out of six. More dungeons left! What'd you say? I said two more dungeons. Oh, two more dungeons. Are you including Ganon's tower? Well... Then it's three, because I'm counting half of the Spirit Temple, like, child and adult. How do you know that Mr. Never played the game before? Because we talked about it earlier, <laughs> in an earlier episode. Fine. That I would have to... Because I still, would say... I don't know. I still won Dungeon, I feel. But whatever. Okay. It's whatever. You've received the Shadow Medallion. Impa awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Please look out for the princess. The princess... Hey, we finally made a dungeon in one episode. I feel like we've done that before. Well, I mean the kid ones, but that doesn't really count, does it? <laughs> the kid that happened ones. seven years ago. Yeah, seven whole long years ago. All right. That was a long one. Uh, on the next episode, I don't really know what we're going to do. I guess we're going to... Oh, you know what you need to do? You need to get the big Gorod sword. Yeah, we'll do that next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that next time. Okay. Thanks for Let's watching, everybody. Uh, where, where are you going? Let's end on a song. Of my people. Dude, it's already raining. What are you doing? I don't know. We'll see you. All right. See one. you next time. Bye, guys.